It's too little, too late for Donald Trump's ban on European visitors. Panic has already set in, and hordes of coronavirus doomsday preppers are already raiding supermarket shelves. Coronavirus has already spread to well over 100 countries and territories worldwide, a pandemic according to the UN. It doesn't care about your race, creed or class. Even millionaires like Tom Hanks and his wife announced they have fallen ill. And while China's all but got its own coronavirus situation under control, Washington's still putting most of the blame for everything and anything connected to the pandemic on China. The Wuhan virus that uh, began at the end of last year. You called it the Wuhan virus. The Chinese Communist Party has said that this is where the virus started. China has unleashed this plague on the entire world through their dishonesty and their lack of transparency and corruption. And rather than using best practices, uh, this uh, outbreak in, in Wuhan was covered up. You'd think they'd understand that being the origin of a pandemic was out of Beijing's control. But while Washington continues to throw shade, it's forgotten one crucial point. Pretty much all U.S. antibiotics, vitamin C pills, first aid supplies are supplied by Chinese companies. America's basically pharmaceutically dependent on China. If China banned the export of drugs, the U.S. would sink into the hell of a novel coronavirus epidemic. And that's given Washington more than just the coronavirus to panic about. I think it's been clear for a while now that we are far too reliant on China for our domestic production, especially for essential products that we rely on. And of course, our medical supply chain is at the very top of that list. The coronavirus outbreak has made clear we must combat America's supply chain vulnerabilities and dependence on China in critical sectors of our economy. The coronavirus crisis puts into sharp focus the unacceptable dependence of the U.S. on China for critical medicines and their ingredients. The Buy American trend has gained new traction as a result. Trump's trade advisor is even suggesting a change in federal law that would force the feds to buy from American companies. If we have strong Buy American procurement, that will establish a robust base level of demand that provides the appropriate incentives for our pharmaceutical manufacturers to invest and locate domestically. Worried yet? With all of Big Pharma's profit-making schemes in the past, the outrageous lifelong cost of HIV treatment in the U.S., spiking the prices of insulin, it doesn't take an economist to wonder how the already high price of drugs might skyrocket. The disruption of the supply chain is what drives the market down. We have off, you know, shored many of these production of items, not maybe the product itself, but maybe a component of the product that's very basic. And then we come to the United States to get more, you know, manufacturing so clearly it, it underlines how vulnerable we are as a first world country, you know, on China to produce these basic products. So while you and I see the coronavirus pandemic as a tragedy of world significance, big business will try every which way to turn it into a profit making extravaganza for themselves, of course. Whenever there's a crisis, someone is always there to make some money off it. Come on. You know, now you're going to start seeing people are going to be at home. So you're going to see Netflix go up or other, you know, online watching uh, platforms, Hulu or whatever the case might be. And same thing with medications. 